Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to keep it simple. We're gonna jump in and look at some data from this weekend and some other uh, passes that I've made and compare the 3500 stall and the 4600 stall that we have in here now. We now have a 4600 ATI converter with the anti-ballooning plate. Previously, we had a 3500 stall from PTC also with the anti-ballooning plate. We're gonna look at the data logs and the shift points and the launches and compare some time slips because I've got some people, they're wanting to say that I have too much stall for what we've got and some people that are saying I don't have enough stall for what I'm trying to do. And we're gonna look over some stuff and explain what exactly we're trying to do here. All right, so I don't know how else to do this other than film my computer screen, which is okay. So what we're gonna look at first is we're gonna look at this 1136 pass. We're gonna look at the shift points, okay? We're gonna compare it to a pass from last year where I went 11, let's do this 1175, yeah. Do this 1175. The dotted line is 1175 and the solid line is the 1136. So immediately you can see here where the converter flashes as compared to not flashing. Right here, the two-step was set to 3,600 and it was sitting around 35, um, around 3,550, which is about normal. And then down here, I had the two-step set to 3,200. And as you can see, it was uh, around that. Letting off the button, it would barely flash to 34, 3,500. Whereas comparing that to the 4,600 stall, you let off the button, it immediately jumps to 4,800 and keeps going. It keeps climbing and all around a better launch. Now the shift point, we shifted the 1175 pass at 7245 and it dropped to 5247. On the 1136 pass, we shifted at 7360 and that dropped to 5738 in first gear. In second gear, we shifted at 3,100 on the 1175 pass, and it went to 5,300. On the 1136 pass, we shifted at 7,251, and it dropped to 5,780. So as you can see, this line here, we're in the power with the 4,600, a whole lot better than we were with the 3,500. Now we're gonna compare the 1136, which is this solid line, to the 678, which is this uh, dotted line. This is a nitrous pass. Now the dotted line had the 3500 converter in it. As you can see here, we're idling at 860, 870. I stall it a little bit, can't go too much because at this time we do not have a trans brake. This was in like November or October of 2022. But we launch and it goes up to 3,500, the nitrous is activated here, and it takes off. Whereas the 1136 pass, you see we're on the two-step here, we launch, it goes up to 4,800 plus and keeps climbing. On the shift in first gear, we shifted around the same for each, around 7,300. First gear on the all-motor pass, it dropped from 7,360 to 5,719. On the nitrous pass with 100, now this was only 100 shot. It dropped from 7312 to 5625. Okay, on second gear, all motor, it dropped from 7250 to 5780. On 100 shot, it dropped from 7200 to 5663. Now, obviously, you can see the curve is a lot quicker because it was making more power. But you get the idea. Now, with this new 4600 stall, the shifts are a whole lot better. They're exactly the way it was on a 100 shot. So in theory, whenever I spray it, it should shift and only drop to like from 7300 to maybe 6300 or even less than that. Which to be honest, that'd be perfect. I hope. We'll find out soon. Let's go to the time slips. 
we have three separate time slips here. These three are representing the best 60 foots the truck has ever had in its entire career. Starting with number one, the best 60 foot the truck ever had was with the 5.3 on 150 shot of nitrous with a 4L60 and a 4,000 stall converter. It went 153 with the nine to the 60 foot. So it's not too terrible. 691 at 99, 1090 at 123.1. That was the best 60 foot the truck had for um, almost three years. That was August 1st, 2021. This past was the same night. Same setup, 5.3, 4L60, 150 shot, 155, 60 foot, 687, 99.5, 1084 at 123.59. Now it took an entire engine swap, transmission swap, torque converter swap, it took a lot of stuff for the truck to get to the point that it's at now. And I think the progress that it's made has been exceptional. And uh, it's the slowest it's gonna be and the fastest it's ever been, if that makes sense. I think it's doing pretty good. All motor with a 4,600 stall. It went 156, 60 foot, 722, 95.27, 11.36 at 118.3. not too bad and that is naturally aspirated let's compare that to the best time slip that we got from the 3500 converter so the best 60 foot we had with a 3500 converter was a 159 on a 100 shot it went 678 at 103 so we've been faster to the 60 foot all motor just with this new torque converter just with it so the results have been promising. This weekend, it felt a little lazy. Uh, you can see the truck physically kind of nose over. I think it had to do something to do with the uh, fuel that we were using. I normally don't run 110. So, Think that had something to do with it because that engine doesn't have you know it's not a race engine it's a junkyard lq460 with stock 862 heads on it i'm not sure the compression ratio i'm not an engine builder i'm just some dumb redneck out here trying to have fun but yeah that's the time slip and it took me a so the truck is not a full-blown race car it is not a daily driver it's kind of in the middle it's a toy it is exactly what i want it's something that I can go to Walmart, I can go to McDonald's and do whatever and get something to eat. But it's also something that doesn't really have the capability to go on like a 300 mile road trip. At least I wouldn't want to attempt that, especially not with these slicks. Um, it's right where I want it. I'm not out here to go nines all motor. I'm not out here to be the fastest person. I'm out here to have fun. And that's exactly what we did this past weekend when we went 1130s. Uh, I thought that was the start of something great, um, but I'm looking forward to getting back out and making some improvements. I'm just, I'm just a regular redneck dude. I'm not out here trying to gamble a bunch of money. I'm just out here trying to have some fun, but thank you guys for watching. Drop a comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you.